Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Detroit Become Human. So, previous episode um, is a few days ago, but if I remember correctly, we had a chapter with Connor and one with Marcus. We haven't seen Kara in a while, so maybe today we will find out what happened to her. Let's see. Yep, that's Kara and Alice. And it's raining again. You gonna be okay? We'll get some help here. As soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. Hm. You really wanna go inside there? This is the place. That looks like the haunted mansion from a horror movie. Okay, but uh, let's have a look around maybe. Um, well, not seeing anything but the door. So I guess we're going inside here. Hello, anybody home? Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Huh? Wait. We really need your help. Come in. I'm not sure if we can trust this guy. But I guess we're going inside anyway. Come on in. Don't be shy. This is like a haunted mansion from a horror movie. Look at this place. Okay. Um, find help, follow Zlatko. Is there anything else around here? Not as far as I can tell. So I guess I'm going to Luther, follow him. would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Hm. Luther is just another android that He's I helped. He's very big. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could oh, help us. Oh, okay. That's why we're here. I was wondering I about that. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this mm. time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Well, I believe they are not allowed there, right? Great place for a fresh start. Yes, it would make it easier to blend in. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. Really? I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Huh. Come but... on. Follow me. 
If all androids have a tracker. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Hang on a second. If all androids have a tracker, which makes sense that they would have one, why didn't Connor use a tracker to find Kara? Because he only found her because someone saw her, right? So he definitely didn't use a tracker to find her. Something doesn't add up here. Um, let's have a quick look around, but I'm not seeing anything. So I guess we're just going to follow the shady guy. Oh, we can look at the books. History of painting. Well, not seeing anything special here. So... I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. I agree. I don't trust him either. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. But apparently all we can do is follow him <laughs> into the basement, no less. And I'm not seeing anything to look at or interact with. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. What machines? I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. I don't know. She doesn't she doesn't want to follow me. Um hang on a second. Come on, Alice. Oh, okay. This way, please. That might be useful later. But again, nothing else I can interact with. Oh, what do we got over here? If you could just oh, stand over there. See your machines. Enter Zlatko's machine. What kind of hellish contraption is this? I don't want to go inside there. Um, but again, I don't see any other options here, so... I guess I'll do it. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. <laughs> I can believe it. Okay. Um you know what's strange? Look around. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. Really? <laughs> so Actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? You said that... Yeah, uh, <laughs> people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. Well, it didn't take long for you to drop the They'll charade. They'll come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. I no! see. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! <sighs> oh, I of course this had to go badly. Child! Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Um, well... Wow. I'm not sure if I can do anything here other the than look around. That wants to be a mother. That's... that's so sweet. I'm so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Well, um, I would like to prevent that. Oh, reset. Zero percent preparing memory wipe. Um, well, I, I'm i trying to do something, but I can really just move the camera and that's it. That's what you get for having a dream. 
It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusion. Believe me. Well, spare me the monologue. You're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Sir. Kara! Well, I've been trying <laughs> oh, to look around, poor but. Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? This is looks not like good. mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> oh no, oh no. You bit me. Again, can't do anything. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little can't bitch. Can't do anything. Kara, wake up, Kara! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, 20%. Meet me in the living room. What do you mean? I'm kind of trapped here. I can't leave. In case you haven't noticed. <sighs> this isn't good. Find a way to escape. Oh, well, maybe... Maybe I can actually do something now. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's something over here. Let's see. Okay. Um, well, that did something, but... Nothing at would really help me. Ooh, what is this? Cause a short circuit. Okay, but how? Um, I can't interact with anything here, can I? Um, oh, 75%. Oh, got something over here as well. Again, that didn't really do anything. Uh, come on, there must be, there must be something I can do here, right? Oh, well, um, I guess there was something, but looks like I wasn't fast enough. Well, um, that sucks. <laughs> I guess I could have done something with that cable over here. Oh well, um, I guess I didn't find that fast enough and now it's too late I guess oh dear oh dear well okay um is there anything else I can do here no not really and now I'm supposed to meet Luther in the living room well I guess it doesn't hurt to look around a little bit as long as I can do it also, why does he have, like, a well in his basement? It's more like a gaping hole. Weird. Anyway, there's something over here I can interact with, apparently. There's someone inside. Come on. Oh. Well? Maybe her memories are not completely wiped. Apparently there's still some fragments left. Anyway, what do we got over here? Help us. Huh. Um who's talking? I wanna know who's inside here before I open the cell. I mean Probably more androids, huh? They erased her memory. No. This can't be happening. You have to remember. For her sake. He likes to play with us. Creating monsters for his amusement. Okay. His experiments, I assume. Look what he did to us. Why? That is just bizarre. You must remember who you are. 
I would like to. But how can I do that? Is there any way to recover that memory? Like, get it out of the trash bin of my <laughs> hardware system or whatever. Um, anyway, let's make sure I'm looking at everything that could be important. There's another person inside here. And by person I mean another android, of course. Can I free this one too? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, um... Let's keep going. But I need a good recovery program. Oh, I can look in the mirror. This might trigger some memories. Yes, it does. Okay. So, if I find certain, I don't know, objects or things that remind her of her previous life, this might help me to regain my memories, huh? I mean, I can still look at the books, but still not seeing anything interesting here. But, I mean, there's a number of things I can interact with. Um, I don't really want to go outside. Okay, I can't. The door's locked. Figures. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, is this her jacket? Again, this might trigger some memories. Uh huh. Make yourselves at home. Okay. And it seems to unscramble her memories, so maybe if I just find enough of these, uh, they will actually do something. Okay, got something over here. Yeah, something over right. there. Take it up to him. Okay. Yes, Luther. But I would like to retrieve more memories first. Oh, is this a dinner? Um, okay. Can I talk to you maybe? Oh, hang on a second. I can look at this. Cigarettes? And Okay, that did something. You want to find a safe place? Somewhere you can start a new life. My name is Kara. I think that's what the scrambled sentence is, but it's still not completely unscrambled. So, let's see. Can I talk to you, maybe? No, I can't. But I can look at his... Religious icons and skulls. Well, that didn't trigger anything. Also, apparently, some of the items that can trigger memories, they don't show up on, like, your scan vision. Only if you're close enough to it, you can look at it. So, let's make sure we fully investigate this place. More books. Um, not sure if anything of interest is among them? Apparently not. And can look outside the window. But again, nothing special. However, I saw something over here. Um, is this just the door to his place? No, it's actually a door outside. Remain with the owner. But I mean, this door is not locked, um, unlike the front door. So, this is something to keep in mind, maybe. So, where exactly is he? Where do I have to take the food? Can I find any more memory triggers around here? Oh, I guess he's upstairs, right? Also, what about the ostrich over here? That is kind of weird. 
Doesn't trigger anything. At least it's not another giraffe. Apparently they didn't include any more giraffes in this game, unless I miss them. Okay, um, this gotta go up here. Do we have anything in this place I can investigate? And yeah, he really likes his religious icons, huh? There's quite a few of them. Uh, oh. Just set it down on the table over there. Here he is. Uh, well, sure, let's... Uh, Get rid of that food we're carrying over here. Okay. That's just like a bunch of bagels and some uh, get rid of that chips. carcass. Uh, take it Rather next weird door. dinner. Why did it trigger something? That's good. I mean pretty unpleasant memories, but Yes, Lanka. I'll take it. Okay, bring the carcass next door. Okay, that part of an android over here. But again, I would like to find more triggers. What about this? What exactly is he doing? More experiments, I suppose. Okay, let's take this. Luther! Luther! Yes, Laco. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Time remaining, ten minutes. Oh, I'm on a timer now. Well, that's no good. Um, well, let's get rid of this android corpse first. Oh great, there's more half-dead androids in here. <laughs> this is such a creepy place. Uh. Who is the little girl? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I am trying to remember. Um, but it seems that the timer is not going down when I'm on this investigation screen, so I can still look around without having to worry about the time. And I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here that I can interact with. For example, we have another one of our mysterious symbols here. RA9. My name is Kara, there we go. It's unscrambled. Was... So does this mean you fully remember now? Um, so we still have to find her though, right? Yes, find Alice. Um, okay. Let's see. What? What is this over here? It's an android... bear? It is an android bear. Um, do I want to free it? I mean, it's an android bear, so they probably don't have to eat. So it wouldn't attack me, right? Especially since Kara is an android, so it's nothing that a bear would eat, I guess. So, sure, let's open the cage. Well, that quite literally unlocked something. And, I mean, it's not even making making an effort to leave the cage but okay um i've gotta go and look for kara now i have two doors that i can choose from uh i don't know let's look at this one. Oh, this is a corridor um oh um but luther is in the corridor Maybe I don't want to go past him, just in case. Uh, let's let's try the other door. What are you doing here? Oh, 
Uh oh. Has the master authorized you to be here? No. You must don't. No. Um. Well. Not sure if I even want to bother with this guy. Let's obey the master. Oh yes. Maybe you I'm just going obey. to. You should not go to the next room. You have no business here. No. You have no business here. Before this guy. If you have no it's getting too agitated. And now I'm back with Luther again. Uh, this isn't good. I... I'm sorry. About the little one. Well, you could help me. Tell me where she is and I can do something about it. Anyway, let's check the next room, I suppose. Alright, there's some kind of bedroom. I still have about seven minutes. Um, I don't really have the time to read this, but I may have enough time to just quickly skim through it so I can read it uh, on the menu. Alright, that should be enough. Now let's continue. Um, what do we got here? Oh, is this a gun? Loaded. It is, but it's not loaded. Okay, so I guess this is not going to help me. Um, well, got another door. I bet that Alice is in like the last room that I check, right? And she doesn't seem to be inside here either. Well, I mean, that could be a weapon, potentially, but Kara is not going to take it. Um, well, what do we got here? Detroit residents were disturbed by a surprising chase through the city streets this morning. Oh, great. According I just lowered public opinion by checking the television. Um, and again, I have several doors I can try. This is just back to the corridor again. So how many more options do I have? Okay, there's another room here. Okay, I found her. And yes, it's the last room that I check. Forget you. I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come here. We have to go. Huh? Right. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? So now we need to get out of here. Luther. Uh oh. Yes, Zarko. I'm finished here. But the ten minutes aren't the... over yet. Right away, Zarko. Um, I don't know. Let's maybe not use a corridor, but let's try to hide in one of the other rooms. Oh, I can hide under the table. Zarko. Is that such a good what? idea? The little one is gone. Well, I can't have just disappeared. You gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look! I mean, sooner or later I will have to leave this place. Um... Is someone actually inside here? It's so hard to tell. Well, I feel that I'm hearing someone. I can't actually see anyone. There he is. <gasps> Couldn't really see him. Okay, but it seems that he left now, right? Okay, I heard the door. So if we're going to leave now... Um, 
escape. Well, I have less than a minute to escape. How? How am I supposed to do this? Um, now let's see. I guess that door over there is to the corridor. And that one... Somewhere else? A bedroom, right. Let's go to the bedroom. Where are they? Luther! Find them for All right. Oh, I can hide again. Let's do it. I mean, at the moment, this place is safe. Oh, well, now someone is coming. And he's taking the gun. Yes. Nothing. Trouble. Oh dear. I guess he loaded the gun. But it doesn't seem like he's actually trying to look under the bed. No, he's not. Okay. Let's get back out again. Okay, um, 30 seconds to escape. Uh, well, that's just back where I came from, so I guess we're going to use this door now. Oh, this is actually a corridor, I thought. Oh, um, I almost missed that quick time event. Oh no, oh no, this guy. Let's... Let's uh, yes, get out of here quickly. Yes, 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 that's for sure. Master, yes. Oh no, oh no, just just keep quiet. Oh no, oh no. Ah, stupid android. Why did you do that? I know you're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. Find next hiding place. Um. Well, he's right there. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only want to talk with you. Maybe I can I hide know over here. I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? I regret that now. <laughs> now just come really? on out and everything will be all right. I'll help you. Think about that little girl. How, how, how scared she must be. Well, she is. Just be reasonable. Oh no, he's come right next to me. Everything will be all right. All right. Next hiding spot. Did you find them? No, it's not cool. I'm still looking. Well, um, then get moving, you big idiot. I want them back, you hear me? Okay. I'm going to make you pay for this, you bitch. I swear, I'm going to make you pay. I believe you. That's why I'm hiding. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think, I think they found me. Well, uh, I guess I got a quick time now. The bear! The bear is coming to save me! Well, over there. it kind of worked, at least for like a distraction. Okay, let's, let's get out of here, quickly. Oh boy. Yep, yeah, let's, let's not go to the uh, front door. We need to use the back door, right, because that is actually open. Alright, let's get out of here. I mean, he's not exactly hurrying up here. Alice! Not that I'm complaining. Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! Go! Run as fast as you can! Oh no. I caught up on I us. warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. <laughs> I don't think you should How mess with him. You. He's a big guy. And yeah, there's quite a few other people who would like to have a word with you. What are you doing? <laughs> who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me! 
I'm your master. I'm your master. Well, not anymore, obviously. He's getting what he deserves. Okay, I think we did it. Thank you, Luther. Thank you. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. Well, I would say you have redeemed yourself. All right. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you. So yeah, coming here was not a good idea, but... <laughs> We made it, we survived, and she regained her memories. And whoa, this is quite the elaborate float shot. Look at that. Look at that. Um, sure, let's have a look at my decisions and potential alternative outcomes. So yeah, freeing the monster obviously had an impact later in this chapter. And yeah, apparently it is possible to not get reset. So there was something with that cable that I saw at the very last moment, but um, I didn't have enough time to actually do anything with that. And apparently if you manage to actually prevent the reset, you're basically skipping all of this, you know, the whole part where you have to recover your memories because it goes straight to this part where you look for Alice, which makes sense. So, um, you can prevent reset, but if you fail to do it, you still have a chance to regain your memories. So that's good. Um, yeah, and then I found Alice. By the way, is there something about that weird android in the bathroom? I mean, bathroom android is loud, yeah. Is there anything I could have done to prevent that? Because I think in the end he was what gave me away, more or less. <laughs> Hide on a table, enter bedroom. There's all kinds of different paths I can take to hide from him. But then at some point I got spotted. Apparently I can prevent getting spotted. But it always ends in, well, either her escape or... Well, I don't know. Maybe if he actually catches her, uh, she gets destroyed. But overall, I guess um, we got the good ending here. We escaped and Luther joined us. So yeah, um, that was a pretty long chapter for a change. And um, since the episode is getting kind of long, I guess I'm not going to uh, start the next one. Normally I would go uh, and read a few journals now because I have quite a few that I haven't read yet. But as you can probably hear, my voice is still not quite a hundred percent. So I think I'm just going to end the episode here because, you know, reading the journals is going to strain my voice a little bit more because it's a lot more talking and reading. So I think um, this is going to be a slightly shorter episode today and we are going to start the next chapter in the next episode. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.